This love story begins with a girl whose name is Tessa and it is her first day in a brand new college that is a bit far away. Her mother and boyfriend decide to drop her to her new college dorm. There she is introduced with two girls, whose names are Steph and next to her is Tristan. It is clear that these girls are very outgoing and very talkative. Her mother smells some weed and walks out of there, but Tessa follows her and asks her to not make a scene. She assures to trust her on this one as she promises her. Her mother is proud of her and wish her well before leaving the college. Tessa's boyfriend also leaves after giving her a cute kiss. Tessa arrives back in her room, where Steph asks if she freaked out her mother. She think her brother is cute, but she correct her by telling he is her boyfriend. Steph leaves right after. Next morning she wakes up and excitedly walks to her classroom, where she find a guy whose name is Landon, he is an English major as opposed to Tessa whose major is economics. She looks excited and enthusiastic for her classes. Back in her dorm, she comes back after taking a nice bath and finds a guy sitting inside the room, reading a book calmly. She was shocked to see him and ask him to leave, but he tells her to not flatten herself because he is not looking. Steph arrives there and confirms that it is her friend. Steph asks her to come with them at the party, but the guy is sure that she won't join. Before leaving he tells her the ending of the book she was reading called Great Gatsby, hence spoiling it. Next day, she was studying in the library and again sees the same guy. This makes her very uncomfortable, while both catches each other's eyes for a moment. Later on, she is approached by Steph and asked to go on a party that night. She insists on not going, but she decides to change things a bit. Tessa chooses a dress to wear, seeing it Steph thinks it is a bit too formal. They are finally at the party, where everyone is drinking and having fun. Later Tessa is introduced to all Steph's friends. There they ask her to drink a little, at first she hesitates, but ends up drinking a shot right after a girl from the group talks rude about her. They decide to play a game of truth or dare. Tessa chooses truth and she is being asked where was the craziest place she had romantic moment. She decide to pass the question and chooses dare instead. The bad guy from the group comes and asks if she want to do it, but she is done with the game and walks away. She call her boyfriend, but he kind of scold her for drinking and she ends the call. Later she walks into an empty storage room and looks at the books. She is again approached by the bad guy, who asks her what she was looking for. Tessa is worried if he is drunk, but he assures her that he does not drink, just like herself. He reveals to her that this is his room, while holding her hand. He asks if their dare is still on, they were almost about to kiss, but she leaves after saying she cannot do it. While she walks back to her room, she gets texts from her boyfriend Noah and at night before bed. Next day she joins the class and finds the same guy called Landon and sits with him. While, it is revealed that the guy from the party was also a newcomer, whose name is Hardin Scott. When the professor asks a question about a romance book, he thinks, love is just a transaction, everyone is hardwired to desire. Present the correct set of desirable traits, which can turn on and off. On the other hand, Tessa contradict him that the women rejected the man in the book, when treated poorly in old era which was just amazing. This goes on for a good minute and Hardin meets her after the class and tell her that it was exciting and leaves. She start to complain to Landon that he is so arrogant. Right there she is surprised to hear that, Hardin is related to Landon. His mother is dating Hardin's father and they barely tolerate each other. At night, Steph is getting a tattoo and asks Tessa to get a tattoo as well. She reveals that Noah is the only one she ever dated and her mother thinks they they will marry one day. Before bed she sees Steph is having some romantic moments with her girl and she move away her face. Next day, she is getting a coffee and gets approached by Hardin. He is looking to start over and be friends since Steph is their mutual friend. Hardin wants to show a place to her, but she wants to keep her distance. She was almost about to walk away, but decide to go on with Hardin. They go a few miles away in his car, a place that looks like a jungle. They walk a little further, where Tessa's eye catches a big lake. He reveals that this is his favorite place and asks her to swim. He takes off his clothes and jumps into the water. He insists on getting into the water and offer her his t-shirt. He looks away while she wears it. He slowly takes her into the water and start enjoying. Tessa asks him about the person he loves the most, to which he reveals himself. He asks about her boyfriend and gets to know he is a high school student, who loves her. He makes her hold her breath and shows her a way of silence. Hardin was looking at her like she was some kind of forbidden diamond he had found. 
She asks her that he wanted to be friend, but he explains they can never be and they start to kiss each other passionately. After, he again move away his eyes so that she can change, but Tessa instead touches him and they start to have romantic moments. Every touch she was experiencing was making her breathe faster. Later, together they go into a bar. Tessa asks him about his past life, but he decide to pass on the question. She asks why does he not believe in love because of the incident in class, but he tells her to not believe everything he says and makes Tessa laugh. Meanwhile, Steph and another friend of Hardin comes and joins him, to which he starts to act a bit odd. Later, he reveals to Tessa that all of it was fun, but he does not date, even though Tessa was about to tell about them to his boyfriend. Hardin looks a bit disappointed after she leaves. Back in her dorm, in the morning she finds Hardin sitting next to her. But this was just a dream. Next day, she finds her boyfriend standing outside with flowers. She could not believe that he was there. Both Tessa and Noah joins a party at night, where Steph and her group decide to play the suck and blow game. When Tessa's turn comes, she does not participate, to which she the Noah acts a bit protective, while, Hardin comes in the way and start to fight. Hardin leaves right after. Later at night, Tessa was watching a movie with Noah, but is concerned about something. At night she gets a call from Landon and goes to meet her. She finds out that Hardin and Landon had a fight and he mentioned her name too, so she might be able to help him. She gets to know that he is upset about his father getting married to Landon's mother, while, her mother lives in a dump back in London. He breaks the glass and Tessa gets injured trying to pick it up. He takes her to his room and apologizes for how he treated her earlier. Hardin explains that he is a mess, to which Tessa also thinks that she is also a mess. Seeing this they both start to have small romantic moment. One thing lead to another and she end up sleeping throughout the night in his room. She walks up to Noah, who is really worried about her. Right after he sees Hardin standing there and figures out what is really going on. He leaves the spot right after. She walks back to her dorm devastated, while getting noticed by Molly. Tessa feels like she lost a best friend. What she was feeling could not be described in simple words. She was very sad throughout her classes and trying to talk to Noah. One day she sees Hardin outside and they decide to talk. He did not expect to see her. She start to describe how her father left when she was just 10 year old. Her mother could not bear this pain, when she was taking care for her, Noah was there to help. Noah is her best friend, but he was is so much more, she reveals. One day, Hardin makes Tessa stay before the library closes. He reads a book, while she is sitting in his lap. Security finds them and go after them, they laugh while running away. This was going to be a memorable moment for both of them. Their relation was getting noticed by their friends. Hardin would not even wait for her class and come inside and call her beautiful. One day Tessa noticed Hardin was writing something in the notebook. She wants to see it, but he tease her a lot. Not too long after, they start to have romantic moments. Suddenly, her mother opens the door and finds them in revealing position. This was enough to make her super angry, she start to accuse her roommate. She thinks, Tessa will ruin her life because of a boy. Tessa start to argue and tell her mother that she will live her life the way she wants to and not how she want to mold it. This makes her mother upset and emotional. Before leaving she suggests that he will break her heart and also cut her off. She later talks to Landon about this situation, but he thinks Hardin is complicated. He suggests her to be careful. Hardin takes Tessa to a place, who belongs to a friend of his father's, who at the moment is residing in Italy. Hardin suggests to live together in this place. Her mother cuts her off so Hardin had to do something. They both move in into this place and start to live a happy relationship. They spend most of the time together, laugh and enjoy the small moments. Both go to many places together. Hardin still cannot believe that she belongs to him now. He believes that he does not deserve her, while Tessa believes nothing will change the way she feel about him. They later go into wedding party of Hardin and Landon's parents. Both meets with Landon's mother Karen and father. They are pleased to meet Tessa. Seeing his father with another woman makes Hardin really upset, to which Tessa try to calm him. Hardin's father start to give speech in front of all the people. Even though he is praising Hardin, he tells Tessa that this is not the father who he grew up with. Even though he is changed, some things never change. He start to explain a scenario. One day at a pub, his father messes with the wrong guys. When they came back for the payback at his house, he could not stop them from doing something to his real mother. 
Later, they start to dance while looking each other into the eyes. They go inside a room, where Tessa decide to have a romantic moment. One day, Tessa is being looked with jealousy from Molly, and later, she start to ask her about her boyfriend. She wants to know more about Harden, but Tessa does not reveal lots of things. Later, Molly texts on Harden's phone something that makes Tessa super suspicious of Harden. When she asks him about what he is hiding, he tell him to trust him and there is nothing to hide. She is anxious and want Harden to call. One of her friend texts her and tell her to meet at Videodrome and tell him about Harden. She sits in the car and find Jade there, who tells her that he might be at Blind Bob's. There she finds Steph and her friends. She reveals that she had been living with Harden off campus. Molly reveals that something is going on, but not what she thinks. She shows her a video of the day when they first played Truth and Dare. Harden had been given a dare to make her fall in love with her. After this happens, he would just turn it off. She could not believe her eyes, and she is totally shocked. He tells her that is not the truth, it was all before, and his feeling were all true. She leaves not wasting any more time. At this moment, Tessa is feeling loneliest in the whole world. She goes back to her house and meets her mother, who she hugs. She does not want to reveal what really happened, but she was there to say that she was sorry. Tessa also express her love toward her and later walk away to meet Noah, who was wondering, why was she there? She explains that she never wanted to hurt him. He was fine with that and they start to laugh. Tessa goes back to the university and start to write an email, to change her major from economics to English. Meanwhile, Hardin could not get over their separation and starts to cry imagining all the moments they spend together. Later, she gets an interview invitation regarding her internship in the Vance Publishing. Tessa was sitting in a lecture, where later she was given an envelope by the teacher. While she said Hardin gave it to her and explains how this was more for Tessa than herself. Tessa sees that Hardin was drawing her pictures in his notebook. She also reads a literature from Hardin, where he explains, he read hundreds of novels and only thought love was just a fiction, until he found his Elizabeth Bennet. He never thought he could be consumed totally by her, hold her hands and where she will lead him out of the darkness. He lastly asked for forgiveness. She once asked who he loved most in the world. He reveals that it is Tessa and the movie ends here.